It's time for English on the Go, so we're going to look at Richard's full clip where he tells us how he's such a fierce competitor. But it actually was a lot worse when he was a kid as compared to now. But anyway, let's find out more information. Just one egg ninja. Are you ready? Go! When I was a young boy, I was a fierce competitor, and I do believe I've softened over the years. But as a child, I could not handle losing. And it didn't matter if we were playing some small game with family or friends in the house or if I was competing in a sport. Competition has always been something that drives me to the point where I want to win or I'm simply unhappy. And I don't know why this is. I can remember this one example when I was really young. My mom signed me up for a baseball team and I was playing out in the field. The ball came to me and I didn't catch it. It fell and I literally started crying right there, even though we hadn't lost the game. We were going to lose and we did lose that game, but the game was still going on and I lost my marbles. So I'm ready to compete at all costs and I only accept winning in my mind. 네, 먼저 오늘의 핵심 어휘를 소개하고 공부 이어가겠습니다. 첫 번째로 아까 두번 나왔는데요. fierce 하면 격렬한, 극심한 이런 뜻을 갖고 있습니다. 그래서 fierce. 그 다음으로 fierce 하고는 좀 반대되는 느낌인데 soften 하면 부드러워지다 또는 부드럽게 만들다라는 뜻도 있습니다. 발음 연습해 볼까요? Repeat after me, starting with fierce, fierce, fierce. Next we have soften, soften, soften. There's a T there, but usually we just say soften. How about we take a look at the next words. 그 다음으로는 다루다, 다스리다를 가리키는 handle, handle. 그리고 마지막으로 어떤 표현인데요. At all costs 하면 반드시, 무슨 수를 써서라도 그냥 직역을 하면 은 어떤 대가를 치르더라도 이 정도가 될 텐데요. 무슨 수를 써서라도 반드시를 가리킵니다. 발음 연습이요. Handle, handle, handle at all costs, at all costs, at all costs. Perfect. How about we take a look at Richard's clip once again, but with English subtitles. When I was a young boy, I was a fierce competitor, and I do believe I've softened over the years. But as a child, I could not handle losing. And it didn't matter if we were playing some small game with family or friends in the house or if I was competing in a sport. Competition has always been something that drives me to the point where I want to win or I'm simply unhappy. And I don't know why this is. I can remember this one example when I was really young. My mom signed me up for a baseball team and I was playing out in the field. The ball came to me and I didn't catch it. It fell and I literally started crying right there, even though we hadn't lost the game. We were going to lose and we did lose that game, but the game was still going on and I lost my marbles. So I'm ready to compete at all costs and I only accept winning in my mind. All right, there's an expression I haven't heard in a while, to lose one's marbles, 네. which we'll go over later. 흥분하는 거, 자제력을 읽는 거를 가리키는데요. 이따가 uh -huh. 나올 겁니다. 자, 그럼 첫 번째 줄로 돌아가 볼까요? Okay. When I was a young boy, I was a fierce competitor, and I do believe I've softened over the years. But as a child, I could not handle losing. When I was a young boy, I was a fierce competitor. 저는 어렸을 때, when I was a young boy, I was a fierce competitor. Fierce. 네, 그냥 competitor라고 하면 경쟁사, 경쟁자. 그러니까 어떤 회사 입장에서는 a competitor 하면 경쟁사예요. Yeah. 네. And if you just say you were a competitor, it could be for a particular sport. Mm -hmm. So you don't understand that it's in general. 네. You like competition. 그냥 이제 I was a competitor 하면 좀 it's 여기서는 like, 문맥에서는 잘안 맞아요. Yeah. It's like where? 네. What kind? 그렇죠. <웃음> 차라리 이제 fierce라고 하는 격, 격렬한 극심한이라는 이 단어를 안쓸 거였다면 mm -hmm. 안 쓴다면 I was competitive. 아니면 yes. I was a competitive person. Yes. 이 정도가 될 텐데 여기서는 이 격렬한, 극심한 다시 한번. Fierce. 
fierce. Fierce하고 competitor를 같이 쓰니까 굉장히 적절한 표현이 됐습니다. 그래서 경쟁심이 아주 강한 사람이었어요. Mm -hmm. mm. For okay. sure. Mm. And he says next, and I do believe I've softened over the years. 네, 부드러워지다. Soften. Soften. 네, soften이라고 발음하는 사람도 있긴 있어요. Yes, I just said soften. 네, 그런데 I go back and forth. <웃음> 그런데 T 발음이 부드러워져서 yeah. the T soft. there becomes softer. Soft. You usually soften the, the T, T sound in, in soften. 네, 그래서 soften, soften. 그래서 uh, and I do believe, 그리고 뭐뭐라고 생각하긴 해요 라고 말하고 싶을 때 mm -hmm. 예전에는 이랬는데 I do believe now 이렇게 할 때도 쓰고 mm -hmm. 물론 어, I do believe that you are right, 당신 말이 맞다고 생각은 해요 그런데 다른 말을 또 단서를 붙여주고 싶을 때 mm -hmm. 많이 쓰는 표현입니다 어, 강조하는 거죠 그래서 이렇게 생각하긴 합니다 어떻게? I've softened over the years mm -hmm. 그래서 지난 몇 년간 또는 세월이 지나면서 세월이 지나면서 부드러워진 것 같긴 해요. Mm -hmm. 그런데 mm. He says, but, but as a child, I could not handle losing. Mm -hmm. 네, 그래서 지금 자라오면서 세월이 지나면서 어, 부드러워지긴 했는데 그런 mm -hmm. 경쟁심 면에서는 부드러워졌는데 but as a child, 어렸을 때는 I could not handle, handle. losing. I 음. couldn't handle it. 네, 그래서 losing, 지는 것을 다룰 수 없었다, 다스릴 수 없었다라기보다는 견딜 수 없었어요. Yeah, like you can't, you can't work through it. Yeah, I don't know how to describe. He couldn't tolerate it. Yeah, you can't tolerate 네, it. 참을 수가 없었어요. Yeah, 또, 또는, it's just not ideal. You 네. don't want to be in that situation. Like, 음. I cannot handle 맞아요. this. Handle 하면 진짜로 다루다, 다스리다. You, can you handle this kind of software? No. Nope. Can you kind of device? 이, 이런 것 물론 쓸수 있죠. Oh. Yeah, 네. it's like, do you know how to use it? 네, 여기서는 아니에요. Mm -hmm. 여기서는 정말 이거를 견뎌내고 침착하게 mm -hmm. 어, 흥분하지 않고 당황하지 않는 것을 핸들이라고 하는데 mm -hmm. 이, 지는 걸 견딜 수 없었어요. Yeah, he can't handle losing. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's look at the next part. And it didn't matter if we were playing some small game with family or friends in the house or if I was competing in a sport. Competition has always been something that drives me to the point where I want to win or I'm simply unhappy. And I don't know why this is. I can remember this one example when I was really young. And it didn't matter if we were playing some small game with family or friends in the house or if I was competing in a sport. 그리고 it didn't matter 상관없었습니다. Mm -hmm. 이거든지 저거든지 상관없었어요. 무조건 경쟁심이 심했고 mm -hmm. 경쟁하려는 마음이 심했고 무조건 지는 걸못 참았어요. 그 A, B 상황은 뭐냐면 If we were playing some small game with family or friends in the house 집에서 가족 또는 친구들과 그냥 간단한 놀이를 하고 있든지 mm -hmm. 그래도 지는 거 싫어했고 Or if I was competing in a sport 스포츠 경기에서 지는 거든 아무튼 상관없이 무조건 지는 걸 싫어했다라는 거고요. 그래서 competing in a sport는 직역하자면 경기에 참여하고 있다는 거죠. 어, 많이들 아시겠지만 참고로 mm -hmm. 스포츠라고 우리가 하는 거는 스포츠, 우리말로는 스포츠잖아요. 근데 yeah. 영어에서는 스포트라고 yeah. 해야 하나를 가리키고 Yeah, it's just sport. 네, T로 끝나죠. Sport. Sport. Mm -hmm. 우리가 티셔츠도 티셔츠라고 하게 되었죠. 네. 되었지만 셔츠도 셔츠, shirt. Shirt. 네 티셔츠도 티셔츠, t s h i r t 네한 개일 때는 티로 끝나지만 mm -hmm. 스포츠 하면 여러 개가 된다는 거죠. Mm -hmm. 그래서 어, 아무튼 지는 걸 싫어했고요. Mm -hmm. He says, competition has always been something that drives me to the point where I want to win or I'm simply unhappy. Competition has always been something that drives me to the point where. 경쟁심, 여기서 말하는 것은 이제 경쟁심, mm -hmm. 경쟁을 하고 싶은 그런 마음. 어, 항상 has always been something that 뭐뭐 하는 무언가였습니다. Drives me to the point. Drive가 이제 어떤 거를 누군가를 운전해서 데려다 주는 것도 아니, <웃음> 아니 여기서는 아니고요. 어, 미루고 나가는. Yeah. 네, It 그렇게, pushes you 네. or encourages you to do something. 네, 만들어 주는 거예요. Yeah. 그래서 drives me. 네, 어떤 뒤에를 좀 봐야겠습니다. To the point where I want to win or I'm simply unhappy. Mm -hmm. 그러니까 어, 이런 
마음 상태의 원동력이 되는 존재였는데 어, 그냥 이겨야 돼 이겨야 되고 안 이기면 지면 simply unhappy 그냥 기분이 안 좋아지는 거예요. He's unhappy, right? Yeah. Hmm. And he says next, and I don't know why this is. I can remember this one example when I was really young. 어, 항상 경쟁심 때문에 이기고 싶어 하는 마음이 있었는데 and I don't know why this is. Mm -hmm. 이 문장은 이, 이렇게도 좋고요. I don't know why로 끝내도 좋을 것 oh, 같습니다. Huh? 왜 그런지는 몰라요. Uh, I can remember this one example. 한 가지 예는 기억이 납니다. When I was really young. 제가 아주 어렸을 때 예를 지금 말해 줄 거예요. My mom signed me up for a baseball team and I was playing out in the field. The ball came to me and I didn't catch it. It fell and I literally started crying right there, even though we hadn't lost the game. My mom signed me up for a baseball team and I was playing out in the field. My mom signed me up for a baseball team. 저희 엄마가 저를 야구팀에 signed me up, 가입시켜 주셨고요. Mm -hmm. 네, 그리고 and I was playing out in the field. 야구 경기장 그 필드에 mm -hmm. 나가 있었어요. 투수 아니었고 타자 아니었어요. Yeah. 투수도 so 아니었어요. He wasn't the batter or the pitcher. Yeah. Right? Or the catcher. Or the catcher. Mm. He was one of the people playing in the outfield. 네. 그래서 그 필드에 나가 있는 상태였습니다. 뭐 내야수나 외야수 아니면 뭐그 베이스에 있었겠죠? Mm -hmm. 그 아무튼 그랬는데 He says The ball came to me and I didn't catch it. 이제 타자가 공을 쳤을 거예요. Mm -hmm. 쳐서 공이 the ball came to me 공이 오고 있는데 and I didn't catch it. 야구는 이게 바운스가 되느냐 안 되느냐 굉장히 중요하잖아요. 잡아야 yeah. 되잖아요. 그런데 you have to catch it. 예, 못 잡았어요. 그래서 mm -hmm. He says it fell and I literally started crying right there even though we hadn't lost the game. That's intense. Yeah. 좀 심한데요. You gotta finish the game <웃음> 네. first, Richard. <웃음> 공이 지금 날아오고 있는데 못 잡았어요. 그래서 공이 it fell. 땅에 떨어졌다는 이야기고요. 공이 떨어지자 and I literally 그냥 진짜 말 그대로 started crying right there. 바로 그 자리에서 울기 시작했대요. Mm -hmm. 너무나 이겨야만 하는 그런 심리가 있다 보니까 mm -hmm. even though we hadn't lost the game. Mm -hmm. 우리가 아직 경기에서 진게 아닌데 내가 못 잡았기 때문에 울기 시작했다고 합니다. Let's look at the last part. We were going to lose and we did lose that game, but the game was still going on and I lost my marbles. So, I'm ready to compete at all costs and I only accept winning in my mind. We were going to lose and we did lose that game. We were going to lose. 우리가 질 거였고 mm -hmm. 이건 이제 그냥 객관적으로 봤을 때 we were going to lose. 이거는 리차드 씨 생각이잖아요. Yeah. Nobody knows. Yeah. 네. We don't know. 네. 그래서 지금 질 거라고 생각을 했고 mm -hmm. and we did lose that lose that game. 실제로 그 생각 아, 그 경기에서 mm. 졌어요. Mm -hmm. <웃음> 그런데 아직 그 상황에서는 아직 경기가 끝난 게 yeah. 아니었죠. The game was still going on and then Richard says next But the game was still going on and I lost my marbles. <웃음> 그런데 경기는 여전히 진행 중이었는데 사실은 야구는 끝까지 모르는 건데 mm -hmm. 어, the game was still going on 진행 중이었는데 and I lost my marbles. marbles. 네, 제가 흥분을 한 거예요. Why huh? do you say lose your marbles? I don't know, but when we usually say you lose your marbles, we mean you went crazy. It's mm. like, Like you got really, really angry, upset, yeah. or started crying. Mm. I have no idea why we say lose your marbles. Okay, marble can refer to many things. Yeah, marble can uh, you can it can be a kind of stone, mm. or it can be 구슬 같은 것도 marble이라고 하기도 하고요. Okay, okay, maybe the little tiny marble stones. 네. Like they're not collected together; they're mm. all over the floor. Ah, that's the only theory I have. 네, marble 대리석 같은 거 이렇게 모았는데 그걸 다. They're all like so, onto the floor, so it's like, oh, 아무튼, I gotta get it. Okay, 네. that's all 구슬, I got. 구슬이라고 생각하면 좋겠네요. 그런 자, 작은 구슬 같은 것들을 모아놨는데 이게 흩어지니까 흥분을 한다. 아무튼 뭐가 됐든지 간에 원래 어원이 뭐든지 간에 흥분한다는 뜻으로 쓰이는데 yes. 아주 자주 쓰이는 표현이라기보다는 그냥 대부분 영어권 사람들은 알고는 있을 거예요. Mm -hmm. 네, 그럼 다음 문장 바로 볼까요? Mm -hmm. So lastly, he says, "So I'm ready to compete at all costs, and I only accept winning in my mind." 
So I'm ready to compete at all, all costs. 반드시 무슨 수를 mm -hmm. 써서라도 다시 한 번. At all costs. At all costs. At all costs. 네. At any cost하고 좀 비슷해요. Mm -hmm. 네. At any cost. Basically, you're willing to put in or to pay anything to get it. 네. So, at all costs. Any가 들어가면 은 costs라고 보통 안 하고 cost로 yeah. 끝내고요. All이 들어가면 costs. 복수가 되는데 mm -hmm. 여기서는 at all costs로 쓰였습니다. 그래서 저는 방금 앞에서 소개한 일화에서처럼 무슨 수를 써서라도 compete 할 준비가 되어 있고 mm -hmm. I only accept winning in my mind. Mm -hmm. 제 머릿속에서 winning, 이기는 것만 받아들인대요. Mm -hmm. 꼭 이겨야만 한다는 뜻입니다. Hmm. Okay. All right, very interesting clip. Let's review and take a look at it once again. When I was a young boy, I was a fierce competitor. And I do believe I've softened over the years. But as a child, I could not handle losing. And it didn't matter if we were playing some small game with family or friends in the house or if I was competing in a sport. Competition has always been something that drives me to the point where I want to win or I'm simply unhappy. And I don't know why this is. I can remember this one example when I was really young. My mom signed me up for a baseball team and I was playing out in the field. The ball came to me and I didn't catch it. It fell and I literally started crying right there. Even though we hadn't lost the game, we were going to lose and we did lose that game, but the game was still going on and I lost my marbles. So I'm ready to compete at all costs and I only accept winning in my mind. <laughs> 